What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. This is be my spoiler free review for Jurassic World Dominion aka what I'll call Bloated World Dominion which was intended to be the end of the Jurassic era for this Jurassic Park franchise that we know we now have and also I would just call it a giant movie intended to celebrate us accepting coexisting with dinosaurs, us being humans of course for this universe. So for me this movie was the biggest disappointment so far for the year and that's merely because while passable and and going above a step above what we got with the fallen kingdom this movie has a lot of potential that's just squandered that i found myself frustrated with it sacrifices a lot of moments that you could use to build tension for unnecessary humor the returning stars claire and owen that being are basically overshadowed by our legacy cast who are knocking it out of the park from all cylinders with their performances they truly are some of the brightest highlights of the movie they also have the more compelling narrative dealing with the legacy cast when trying to expose Biosyn, which we know is back as a more focused villain role to close out this section of the series. And then before I get into too many other issues, I cannot speak enough about how much of a treasure I find Jeff Goldblum to be for this movie. He is, again, incredible as Ian Malcolm. He always has been. And during moments of complete well moments where you might find yourself bored i'll say he definitely makes you smile along the way because that that worked for me a lot in a lot of ways every time he's on screen he is indeed a scene stealer i see what a lot of people have been talking about now so there is good writing going on here it's just not on a very large scale what i do what i do think was a nice touch is how this movie has an arc with claire regarding her being a mother and this is a great way i think to like call back to a conversation she has early in the series with Jurassic in jurassic world with judy greer who played her character talking about when you have kids and she said if and judy judy greer's character responded back when and this one she's in a motherly role so that was a nice thing to see kind of like now making that foreshadowing in a way so claire's arc here for that reason to me was the most compelling i'd say out of the trilogy just for the way he wants to explore her role as a mother but i can say that her relationship with owen feels tired um bryce and pratt they're not bad actors or anything like that they give very solid performances here and they definitely have some glimpses of chemistry but there is a lot of times where i'm like these two have no chemistry here and i'm thinking how did they fall off like this or did these two never have any chemistry to begin with from the previous two entries it feels like it was just completely different vibes between them here sam neil and laura Dern, though, are an absolute delight to see on screen there's a good score there is a lot of an emotional weight that's added due to the score i can say that certain cues felt maybe a little bit just overly nostalgic and more reliant on that versus feeling like these moments are earned um uh, because sometimes it feels like the movie is very desperate to find this emotional weight that it just really struggles to capture you are going to get your big movie dinosaur brawls though of course as well so there definitely are those thrilling action sequences but the film's biggest problem is when that stuff isn't going on it's offering these likable characters uh that are in this highly uninteresting and dull conflict to resolve there's another issue here when it relates to pacing again moments that can be used to build tension are rushed through but then the moments that do very little or add nothing drag on the action sequences though they are definitely again very equally thrilling visually pleasing and you'll be on the edge of your seat during those moments but then again when those are not happening you're right back to this i feel like flat line while watching the movie the film's dialogue is also again very insufferable sometimes i can't remember how many times i heard someone say hey i know you or i remember you like some of the comedy was getting old very fast but still this movie jurassic world dominion of course did serve up a very entertaining action-packed what i'll call carnage highlight reel that some fans will still enjoy i just think that there was too much invested in being a carnage highlight reel versus writing a truly comparing compelling story to get invested in since this movie still of course is being told to us through the ones that can talk the humans i just i just think this is a, a big a big example of how far we've gone from that original movie another thing that i know people are going to be turned off by is the plot armor or what i'll call like the david dunn like qualities people seem to have a plane crashes but no one has a scratch on them after it a legacy character at one point i believe falls and hits his head quite hard and then he just jumps right back up and a few other instances where it just seems like everyone is david dunn for those of you who are fans of unbreakable if you can make it through the first two acts then some of you will find the third act highly rewarding i did enjoy the big 
big battle sequence that happened at the end of that act definitely was my favorite of the three we've gotten so far it isn't as bad as i think many others will find it to be jurassic world dominion that being but i didn't like it either there are some breathtaking shots and this movie does a great job teasing audiences with a certain ship that inevitably gets together in the end so after a little while you're gonna probably ask yourself why is this movie still going on so long and why since it is this long is it squandering a lot of its time it's it also has this thing where it has these great set designs but something about this movie felt very contained in a way in which they're kind of just not reaching the heights that they should be so it just feel more interesting being again that carnage highlight reel with fan service that can only get you so far when it's buckled down by a very uninteresting conflict for these characters to resolve and you know just speaking on macy really quick a lot of the developments with these characters macy has the most interesting one even though what i was getting while watching this as a buffy fan i was like okay this is her don summers era you, you'll see what i mean if you are a fan of buffy and outside of claire owen really doesn't have much going on that's interesting there with him like the developments here feel very one note or almost in almost not existing i can see a lot of people feeling like these characters had no new developments here and when it relates to dr grant and ellie sattler and ian malcolm again their moments together are some of the best moments in the movie and there are these things that again will make the movie feel like it's probably not trying to do a good job existing on its own when you have all of these callbacks and setups that are again are just trying to pay homage to the previous movies but they feel less earned and more deserved and more rewarding because the overall conflict for this movie isn't that compelling there's really not much to grow invested in when the when the dinosaur carnage is happening on your screen dodgson's role as a villain is completely falling flat here he's not very threatening and anything he's it's very hard to take this character serious as a villain when you see what i'm talking about also the practical effects and the combination of that and some of the dinosaur designs and mixing that in with the cgi we know we've been getting that was done very well the movie just falls flat biggest on the biggest scale relating to giving you a, com a compelling conflict for these characters to resolve and those other issues that i talked about i'll give it a six out of ten if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video